Hi. In this video, we practice accessing class members from a different class. Let's have a look at the class diagram. The top tier says washer, so this class represents the concept of a washer. The center tier includes the attributes, the data, information stored about the washer. In our case, we want to know the model, what kind of a washer we have. And in the bottom tier, we have the operations, something a washer can do. Notice we have four different choices here. One is called washer, and that is exactly the same name as my class. This is the indication that we have a constructor declared. Um, constructors always have the same name as the class. Also, constructors start with an uppercase letter, while methods in Java start with a lowercase letter. Here we have a constructor, and my constructor has one parameter. That means my washer can initialize the fields, in this case one single field model, if and only if we provide an actual model. This has to be of type string. Now there are three more entries here under operations. Those are my three methods, get model, wash and spin. Notice I have a getter but no setter because I want my washer to be able to tell me what kind of a model this washer is but once a washer has been created the model can no longer be changed. We have a method called wash. This allows us to activate the washing. However, we have to provide some information. The washer says yes I can wash but you have to tell me what temperature would you like, cold, warm or hot. And then once you provide me that information in form of a string, then I will wash. The washer can also spin, but no additional information is provided. You just tell the washer spin and it will spin. Based on the class washer, I prepared a number of challenges. So the first one is called create an instance of type washer. Its model is GE. Now when I want to create a new washer, I need to save it somewhere. I start with a variable declaration, washer, my washer, type, name. That's how we always declare variables in Java. And I'm using the assignment operator to assign a new value. The new value is a brand new washer. I create a brand new washer with the new operator in combination with my constructor. The constructor has always the job to initialize. Now I have to check, did my washer class define a constructor? And when I check in my operations, I, need, I see here I have washer, same name as my class, so this is a constructor. The moment I declare a constructor, I no longer get a default constructor from Java provided. So this is the one and only constructor I have this is the constructor I need to use. It's called washer, just like my class, but now I need to figure out what information do I have to provide to the constructor so that the constructor can do its job. And here it tells me it has one parameter specified. It's called M, M like model. The constructor tells me if you give me the model of type string, I will use this information to initialize the private field. Say great, we can do that. Here is my argument. The argument has to match number and types of the specified parameters. One parameter of type string, so we're going to pass one string. Once again, those double quotes are plain regular double quotes that just look like this in my font. Uh, notice I'm passing here a string but I no longer mention the type name string. It just is a string. When I declare, I specify the type explicitly. When I call a constructor method, I just provide a value of the appropriate type. Now here I have a second challenge. Run a hot wash cycle. Once again, I check what are my options. Minus means private, we can't access it. Washer is the constructor. It can be used only to create a new instance. And so I have three methods left. 
get model, wash or spin. Because I want to run a hot wash cycle, I'm going to choose the method wash. In order to wash, I need a washer. And here is my instance of washer. My washer dot. That's kind of like, please do something for me. What would I like my washer to do? I would like my washer to wash for me. So I'm going to use the name of my method. Here it says wash. And every method call comes with an argument list. At this point I have to decide how much information and what kind of information do I need to provide to the method wash so that wash can do its job. And it is specified right here. The washer says, well I can wash if and only if you give me the temperature. And by the way, the temperature has to be provided as a string. So I'm going to provide a string and my string says hot because the request was to have a hot wash cycle. Notice I'm using the double quotes because this has to be a string. Next challenge, spin. So I want to make my washer spin. My washer, I always need a washer to do that for me. Dot, this means please do something for me. I'm checking my options here, get model, wash or spin. Well, since I want to spin, I'm going to use the spin method. Spin. Every method call comes with an argument list and I'm checking how many parameters were specified. Zero parameters. So I'm going to provide zero arguments. Number and type of arguments has to match the number and type of parameters specified. My last challenge says print the model of the washer. So I start by figuring out how can I access the model of the washer. And uh, because it's the model of my washer, I will have to ask my washer to give me that information. My washer, please do something for me. Now what can the washer do for me? There are my different options. Get model, wash or spin. Because I want to figure out the model, I'm going to use the getter, get model. So say my washer, please get the model. Every method call comes with an argument list and I have to decide what do I have to provide. And when I look, I can see my getter is specified with zero parameters, which means we need to call it with zero arguments. So right here, I have the method call get model and my washer gives me this information in form of a string. You can see here there is the method call and it defines that the method returns a string. Now I have a string and the string specifies my model but I haven't done anything with this string yet. So in my specific case it says print the model. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to write a print statement around it. It says system out print line and I just say model and I'm going to print the label model and the get model. Now I'm going to change the font so we can fit this in a single line. So here I have the label model. Here I have the actual string that my washer provided to me when I called get model. In our case, this string will give me GE because our washer is a washer of model GE. And I'm going to use the plus operator to append those two strings. So my output is going to be model GE.